Okay, so you guys just missed it, but I finished making this turkey bacon right now. We're going crazy. I mean, we're not going crazy. Everything's fun, right, Rob? Yeah, we're good. Everything's good. They opened the pool back up, but you have to schedule to go in. And you can only have it for an hour. Yeah, so it's not really helping. So this is my breakfast right now. So oh, you made one for all of us. Um, yeah. This is potluck where everyone brings their own dish. What did you make, Rob? I don't know, I just started to like not even eat. What time is it? I don't be eating till three. Yeah, but all I gotta let you guys know is that today starts uh, Rob's fitness journey. So I'm gonna be running every day with Noah. Got the, the new shoes. Got the new shoes. What y'all think? One out of 10. A little on feet. Yeah, give us a little back, 360. Yeah, the guys are flaming my shoes, but <laughs> you gotta really think about the functionality. You know, when you're buying a pair of sh running shoes, especially, you gotta think how it's gonna feel, how it's gonna help you run or whatever it is. I don't like the crust on my sandwiches. Oh, man. It just don't be hitting, you know? Everyone's worried about looking cool and stuff, you know, it's just, there are $40 on Amazon, I don't know. <laughs> Ryan doesn't even care, he doesn't even wear shoes. Yeah, he wears shoes, I ain't clipped my toenails in a minute. No. Yeah, we got a little late start to today. It's been stressful, I think everyone's been stressed out. We've been staying up till like 2, 3 a.m. The news, looking at Twitter. I think times like this could be, be very unmotivating to do anything, really. I don't know if you guys are going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's exhausting. It's very exhausting. Life in general, without all the um, apocalyptic things happening, is exhausting. How's it gonna be the first day open at the pool and y'all be a loud AF? Why are you screaming? With all due respect, I just. Why are you over here? Bro. Am I, am I being mean? I think a little bit. They're kids. <laughs> They're kids. I bet you we were screaming like that when we were kids. Is I mean, it, it ain't no pandemic though. I feel like it's hard for me to like have fun right now. <laughs> Through everything that's going on, even with my career, like the stuff that's going on right now is much bigger than myself, my career, my happiness, like, I don't know. Actually, you're not mean. Maybe the world needs a little Shut bit more. Shut up. <laughs> Do y'all know, what, know what's going on right now? What are you doing to help? What are you doing to help? Y'all over there talking about some, it's too cold, stop chasing me. What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? Maybe the world needs more child laughter. When you're a kid, you don't think about the negative stuff. You don't think about mortality. As children, how many times did you think about death, dying, hurricanes, viruses? You didn't care. That's why you see happiness and joy through children. I could not be screaming, jumping around, splashing in water right now. And they're like 13. Cause they just are so innocent. They don't even understand the severity of what's happening. Not at all. Ignorance is bliss, right? It becomes unacceptable at a certain age. You can't just be like 16. I don't know what's going on. You go to a baby. What are you doing <laughs> to help? I haven't seen you post anything on Instagram. Silence is Violence. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm upset though. The last vlog, the one before the last vlog, the tattoo hand vlog, they were in the comments. Can, let me just pull one up. We read every comment on the vlog channel. People um, don't believe it, but we do. We take constructive criticism. We want feedback from people. I feel like we're nice guys. I didn't know Rhino liked Red Robin so much. He wanted a discount code every time he goes. He got a tattoo. First off, these people don't even speak English properly. Oh, hold on, there's another one. There's another one on here. Robin isn't just a sidekick. He's the leader of the Teen Titans in the Young Justice League. Okay, respect, respect. I was seeing a bunch of comments. Rhino got a Red Robin tattoo. You must really love Red Robin. Just stop. Red Robin, yum. <laughs> I'm gonna look up the Red Robin logo. On another note, my tattoo is healing perfectly. Any bad comments on you? Um, I haven't seen any bad comments. Um, my tattoo, at least. People seem to like my tattoo. Here's why y'all are out of hand. When they said Red Robin, I said, no way, what? Red Robin? This is carbon copy Robin. What? Because it has the elements of the circle and then the- Don't try to just- That's why, that's what they were thinking, but they didn't really think hard enough because it does not look like the red Uh, Rob, Rob, whose side are you on here? I'm definitely on your side. First off, what? Okay, it's got an oval. Congrats. How does this R in any way resemble this? Here's my thing. I couldn't fathom how someone would know the Walgreens logo, but wouldn't know the Washington Nationals baseball team. How y'all know the Red Robin logo? No, but see what they're trying to say is that because the oval, right? And then the R, but it does kind of look like the Red Robin. No. So you have to. Look, Red Robins is good though. I like they have the endless bottomless fries. It's a good place to eat at. Like it's a bad restaurant. Rob, can I talk to you for a second? Over here. Whoa. Over here. Are you serious? Over here. Okay, so first off, what are you doing with your socks right now? You already know the drill. That's what I do. I would like to do a little poll here. First off, who has more tattoos? 
You? Correct. I was the first to get a tattoo though. Oh, shh, shh, quiet. Who is having a clothing drop on June 19th for their clothing brand, Mansion Clothing? Noah. And? You. Correct. Who talks to girls that don't reciprocate any energy? You. No. Me too, but mainly you. Okay. Did you? Okay, that's true. Who here won their high school state soccer championship? Probably you. No, I didn't even do that. Did you win anything in high school? Like a, a state title or something? No, just Regional? CIF and wrestling, but it wasn't even that far. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with one final question. I want you to sit and think about it, okay? Whose crush doesn't ever call them back? Both of us. Did you just say both of us? <laughs> are we done with the talk now? Yeah, we are. I'm okay. She won't call me back. All right, you said it. Jeez, why you gotta be so personal? That's a joke. I don't know. I was just answering the question. So this is the part of the vlog where I'm gonna be really just putting myself out there to the viewers who don't know who you are. Well, that's the thing. Nobody knows who you are because I've never showed you to anybody. Would you like to give yourself a formal introduction to the, anybody watching? Well, I'm Sarah. I have a YouTube channel, but I don't really post as much. Mm. I'm 21 and I'm from Ohio. So I was trying to ask somebody who is a girl some things that, that's been bothering me about girls in general so I figured you might be a good person to answer the questions why do girls like guys that pay them no attention oh god okay that's a hard one because for some girls I wonder the same thing but I've been in that situation before and I kind of feel like you want what you can't have right mm. so oh. that's just life with everything and so with relationships somebody doesn't want you you kind of want them even more mm. so I think that goes both ways so let's say hypothetically speaking just big hypothetical if i wanted you to like me oh. or not even me it doesn't have to be me what does a guy have to do to make you like them like what am i just supposed to not speak to you because then how am i supposed to no like you speak to them you like barely pay attention to them but you're not you can't act like super interested mm. you gotta like be a little mysterious at first you just have to like make them want you more they'll be more interested if you're not as interested okay wow okay what are the key components to being attractive towards a female i've heard like all right hygiene what do i have to be ripped facial hair what do you think about that what are some boxes that i should be checking in, in order to attract a female do you get offended by the word female no not really not really okay cool i would say they have to like smell really good mm. that's probably what i noticed like right after that. So like that kind of goes with personal hygiene, but like if they have a really nice smelling cologne like that mm. That is what gets me but smile teeth facial hair is good. Yeah, how are we feel about facial hair? Is good. Facial hair is good. I would say not too much. It has to be like well groomed. Okay. Okay. I mean facial hair is good What else I would say style style is a really big one. Mm. Oh music taste no country <laughs> Yeah, I never uh, never was in the country, but okay that's a new one. I never heard that one before. I don't know, tattoos or something? I don't know. Tattoos, maybe? <laughs> tattoos are okay. I like tattoos. I do. Cool. But, like, I'm not necessarily going to be, like, unattracted to somebody that doesn't have tattoos. All right. Both are good. It also depends on what kind of tattoos you have. Yeah, they got to be nice. Yeah. Okay. Physique is... That's, like, a hard one. Dad bod, A. <laughs> I mean, I would say, like, they, they have to be, like, somewhat active, you know? Okay. You can tell if somebody has been, like, active, works out, bigger than me. Okay. That's a big one. So, basically, what you're saying is... Now, I want you to ask me anything that you don't understand about how guys operate. Why do guys think that being motionless or like heartless is like badass or like cute? Guys have to be, they can't be the emotional ones because girls are the quote unquote, are supposed to be the emotional one of the relationship. So a guy, you can be vulnerable, but you can't be, oh my God, look what happened to me today. You're not allowed to do that. You're supposed to be the rock. And I don't think that's a toxic masculinity. Guys can't show emotion. Guys, in a very primal way, 
way the man is supposed to be the strongest one of the herd and supposed to be the one that people rely on. Hence why they have to show less emotion. So basically I just schooled you, but it's fine. Personally, if I was in a relationship, I don't mind being the head of the household. I think that's what I have set myself up to try to be. No, yeah, I think guys are definitely supposed to be like that rock and be like protective and you know, the girl can depend on mm -hmm. him. But like I said, girls, they're always right. Oh, here we go. How, how much percent of the time? Like 90. Oh God.